Luxury makeup, I think, is 100% worth the price. By the way, I have acne-prone skin, and none of these have potentially pore-clogging ingredients. We're starting with Armani Luminous Silk, and I know you guys saw this coming. This is loved by so many celebrity makeup artists, and I understand why when I finally got it. It has amazing coverage while still giving your skin this natural, luminous look. Also, this is the only foundation I've found my exact perfect shade match, so that alone makes it worth it, too. Next is the NARS Afterglow Blush. This is in shade Dolce Vita, and you guys, I die for this formula. It's such a beautiful, dewy glowy easy to blend pigment i love the way it makes my skin look just so healthy i will never forget when alex earl mentioned this blush and it was sold out for two months and i nearly cried we haven't had that problem lately so hopefully it stays that way next house labs bio blurring setting powder this is amazing this is by far the best performing talc free setting powder on the market if you have areas on your face with larger pores or texture no you don't because this completely blurs your skin i've said this before but i do not recognize my skin when i put this on next charlotte tilbury setting spray this is the best setting spray your makeup will not budge i promise you that i have repurchased this too many times to count jones road lip pencils have the best formula when it comes to what i look for in a lip pencil very creamy spreads around easily user friendly and i like that you can use these as like an outline for your lip or all over your lip in place of a lipstick it's that good of a formula creamy and it stays in place doesn't mattify and dry out so you get those booty hole lips i have four different shades that i use on the regular and then lastly the ysl rogue lip shine this is in shade 44 and i had to include this because i get the most compliments whenever i wear this product i know a lot of people have tried to dupe this but i just don't think any of them are as good as the original really moisturizing and just leaves your let's try out all this new drugstore makeup i just got physician's formula liquid bronzer i kind of want to try this under my foundation for some reason i don't even Ooh, it is <laughs> bronzing i don't think i'm supposed to use this like this a 24 hour skin tint by maybelline i got the shade 130 i have been so excited to try this wow oh my god it kind of has coverage <laughs> Wait, why is this so smooth and pretty? Skin tint does kind of give me foundation vibes rather than like tint vibes because it actually has coverage. It is so pretty. The Physicians Formula Concealer and it has this little sponge on the end and I'm like, girl, what is that? Ain't nobody using that. So the concealer is like a really thin formula but it actually has a lot of coverage. I'm a little shook. Do not use as much as I use because this stuff goes a really long way. I've never seen a drugstore concealer have like this much coverage we're gonna try this liquid bronzer one more time subtle but it's pretty okay but actually with my foundation on i think i might need a darker shade because it's kind of the same color as my skin we have a clear blush that's supposed to turn pink this better not ruin my makeup today let's try oh it's already turning pink <gasps> wait that's so cute it's by hard candy Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's turning so pink. I'm gonna layer it up because it kind of dissipated, but look how pretty it looks. Oh my god. This might be my favorite product we've tried so far. It has been said that this blush is too pigmented, so I'm scared. Not too much. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Y'all, it's too pigmented. It looks so pink, and that was one... Can a blush be too pigmented? Yes, I just feel like you have to go in with the lightest possible hand with these because they are crazy. We're blushing. Maybelline Surreal Mascara. I really like this chunky wand on it. I love a chunky wand. Oh yes, I feel like it's giving it volume. Lashes are volumizing. This isn't bleed or transfer. This might be my new favorite mascara. New shades in these glosses. I'm gonna try Gummy Bear. <gasps> uh, it's subtle, but it's so pretty. Absolutely, yes. Luxury makeup, I think, is 100% worth the price. By the way, I have acne-prone skin, and none of these have potentially pore-clogging ingredients. We're starting with Armani Luminous Silk, and I know you guys saw this coming. This is loved by so many celebrity makeup artists, and I understand why when I finally got it. It has amazing coverage while still giving your skin this natural, luminous look. Also, this is the only foundation I've found my exact perfect shade match, so that alone makes it worth it, too. Next is the NARS Afterglow Blush. This is in shade Dolce Vita, and you guys, I die for this formula. It's such a beautiful, dewy, 
glowy, easy to blend pigment. I love the way it makes my skin look, just so healthy. I will never forget when Alex Earl mentioned this blush and it was sold out for two months and I nearly cried. We haven't had that problem lately, so hopefully it stays that way. Next, House Labs Bio Blurring Setting Powder. This is amazing. This is by far the best performing talc-free setting powder on the market. If you have areas on your face with larger pores or texture, no you don't, because this completely blurs your skin. I've said this before, but I do not recognize my skin when I put this on. Next, Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. This is the best setting spray. Your makeup will not budge, I promise you that. I have repurchased this too many times to count. Jones Road Lip Pencils have the best formula when it comes to what I look for in a lip pencil. Very creamy, spreads around easily, user-friendly. And I like that you can use these as like an outline for your lip or all over your lip in place of a lipstick. It's that good of a formula. Creamy and it stays in place, doesn't mattify and dry out so you get those booty hole lips. I have four different shades that I use on the regular. And then lastly, the YSL Rogue Lip Shine. This is in shade 44 and I had to include this because I get the most compliments whenever I wear this product. I know a lot of people have tried to dupe this, but I just don't think any of them are as good as the original. Really moisturizing and just leaves your lips with this beautiful shine.